I'm looking for Colonel Blake. Colonel Blake isn't here right now. He's checking the oil supply. I'm here on his orders. Okay, wait here. He'll be back soon. You just come from Chapois? Yep. What's it like over there? Pretty bad, but we saw off the Reds. Sergeant Armstrong, sir, as per your orders. Very good, Sergeant. Follow me. First off, Armstrong, please accept my congratulations. Sir? I've been keeping an eye on you, Sergeant, and I've liked what I've seen. Sir? Congratulations. You just made lieutenant. Yes, sir. Excellent. Now, lieutenant, I want you to meet Commander Gastovsky, Special Forces. Gastovsky. James Gastovsky. Armstrong. Good to meet you, sir. Now, there's something I want both of you to see. It was passed to us earlier this evening. Sorak Vosim Chisov, Polkovnik Blake. За это время вы и силы НАТО должны покинуть эти острова. Если вам не удастся совершить полный вывод That's how long you and your NATO forces have to remove yourselves from this island. If you haven't effected a complete withdrawal by 1800 hours on Tuesday, an entire tank division, there will be no further warnings. I wish you a safe and comfortable journey home. Who is this guy? Looks like he's got a screw loose. You don't know the half of it. I had our intel boys look into his background, and the file doesn't make pretty reading. His name's Guba. General Alexei Guba. Did five years as a commandant in one of Stalin's Siberian gulags, where they nicknamed him the dentist. Why'd they call him the dentist? No idea. Sounds pretty scary, though. Under Brezhnev, he moved to the KGB, and we lost track of him. Rumor has it, he was running a special interrogation unit in Moscow. And now he's back in the army, heading up the Soviet presence on Kokajev. So Moscow wants NATO off these islands? Well, the Kremlin's still denying any involvement in the invasion, and Washington's inclined to believe them. It looks like General Guba is in this for himself, but God only knows what he's trying to achieve. 1,000 troops, sir? That's five times what we've got left here on Malden. Armstrong, I want you to lead a squad escorting Commander Gostovsky back to Everon. You know the resistance forces, and I need you to talk to them. It's important they cooperate with our special forces in the upcoming incursion. Get ready. You're leaving this evening. <laughs> 